equals three studios. Hey guys, the comments are in and we're going down under. At first I was confused, but you were more specific and it's all about Australia and not <laughs> Australia. 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 Australia is both a country and a continent. Which is bullshit. You can't be both. Make up your mind. Overachieving much? Pick one. Make a decision. Australia was discovered by Dutch settlers back in 1606. But to be honest, Aborigines were there for 40,000 years beforehand. But hey, hey, we discovered it. Finders keepers, mine. I mean, what kind of asshole country starts off that way? In 1770, the British claimed the eastern half of Australia and turned it into a penal colony. Penal colony. Penal. Hey, I hear this is where the dicks hang out. So prisoners were sent there. My uncle's been to prison, and he said it gets real penal, especially in the evenings. They say that 20% of modern Australians are descendants of transported convicts. And now it's an island full of whites. No, it's not. No. So it was a penal colony, but now it's one of the wealthiest places in the world. I think Drake said it best. Started from the bottom now, here. Way to go, Australia. You're the Drake of continents. How are they so rich? Are they getting a cut of like every album that Iggy Azalea sells? There are a lot of stereotypes associated with Australia. People say Australians are all rednecks. <laughs> which I don't think is fair because Australia comes from the Latin word Australis, which means southern. Oh, I can see that. Okay. That's like saying Irish people drink all the time. Ridiculous, you know? People also say they all throw boomerangs. That joke keeps coming back around. Boomerangs! When you don't have a father, but you still want to play catch. Fruit. Fruit. <laughs> I'm sad inside. Here in America, we throw something and go get it. We won't just stand there and wait for it to come back to us. You thought this was an Australian accent. No, this is an Irish accent. What? A lot of people affiliate Australia with some unique wildlife. Why are Australian animals so weird? You got the koala bear. The koala bear is not a bear. It's just a hybrid of that one time when Bigfoot fucked Snooky. Get it together, koalas. And the kangaroo. The kangaroo is the only animal that people are okay with you fighting. Kangaroos, the original fight club. Put them up, put them up. Have you seen how buff they get? Jesus, do you bench press duck-billed platypussies? I'm not going to Australia anytime soon. And then there's the emu. They all look crazy. They always look like they just walked into their own surprise birthday party. <laughs> its claws can rip through a metal fence. I can also rip through a metal fence, but that's, that's, I'm not bragging. Oh, and then there's the dingo. This joke about a dingo ate my baby. Everybody's always taking the baby side. Yeah, has anybody ever wondered what the baby did in the first place? And of course, there's the duck-billed platypus. The funniest looking mammal on earth, that and Prime Minister Abbott. Some people say that Tony Abbott is their version of George W. Bush. I'll trade your Bush for our Bush. Oh. Can we just all get together and agree that we need to do some bushwhacking? I haven't seen a Bush that bad since the 70s. Australia does a pretty good job of keeping all their weird shit to themselves, but there are a lot of kind of strange exports that they share with us. There's Crocodile Dundee. I wasn't quite sure what a knife was until Crocodile Dundee told me. Is this a knife? Is this a knife? Is this a knife? This is a knife. Oh, wait, it's a banana. This is a knife. Am I wrong to assume that he's pretty much your average Australian dude? Like nine out of 10 Australians look like him and the men look worse. There's a crocodile hunter. Crocky! Steve Irwin, the crocodile hunter. I literally learned everything I know about animals from him. You're not allowed to touch an animal unless you've already touched it before, which is kind of a catch-22. You would have to work it out. And some people say Australians only eat Vegemite. Don't even get me started on Vegemite. Give me a Vegemite sandwich. Vegemite is a dark brown food paste made from leftover brewer's yeast. Really? Brewer's yeast? That's what I'm craving. If you put Vegemite in your mouth, you will immediately hate the continent of Australia. It tastes like fucking earwax. Not just Vegemite. Also, they drink a lot of beer. Holy shit. Vegemite and beer are the same thing. Busters, Australian for beer. Australian for urine. Right, guys? Don't worry, Australia. Nobody over here drinks Fosters either. Nobody likes Fosters, guys. Let's be, let's be honest. I think the United States should apologize to Australia for all the horrible things we've done to them. Like Outback Steakhouse? I mean, have you ever been to an Outback Steakhouse? It's terrible and it's bad for you. Of course it was invented in the United States. My favorite instrument from Australia, the didgeridoo. I really hope you guys superimpose a didgeridoo. I'm really trusting you guys. 
Oh, guys, seriously, if you put something else, I'm gonna be so pissed. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching and thank you to Australia. You guys are great sports. Uh, we kid, but we love, okay? It comes from a place of love. I can't wait to go for the first time. And when I do, I hope you don't remember that I did this. <laughs> Just kidding. Hey, thank you again to the comedians for stopping by. If you like what they said, why don't you tell them how much you like them in an Australian accent? Try it out. I don't know if it's offensive at this point, but we've crossed that line a long time ago. My name is Carlos, se me cuidan. Y voy a tirar el boomerang por ahí a ver qué es lo que pasa, a ver si lo consigo y vuelvo para atrás y eso, porque así es que funciona el boomerang. Coming up on a long No, I'm Irish. This is an Irish accent. Irish what? accent. <laughs> Get out of here! Let's do that again. Get let's out. do that. Let's do that. Get out. <laughs> Dutch exploration people. Sorry, I did that wrong. <laughs> no! 1669. No? 1606. In 1609. Six. In 1766. Right? In 1906. Who was just discovered? Thank you for watching this Equal 3 Studios production. To watch another episode, click here. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And now, I sleep.